ಸ್ಥಿತಿರ್ನಿರುಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಯೋಪದ್ಯತೆ ಯಸ್ಸಾನಿರುಧ್ಯಮಸ್ತು ಸ್ವಭಾವೋನೋಪದ್ಯತೆ ಸ್ಥಿತಿರ್ನಿರುಧ್ಯಮಸ್ಯೋಪದ್ಯತೆ ಯಶ್ಚನಿರುಧ್ಯಮಸ್ತು ಸಾಭಾವೋನೋಪದ್ಯತೆ M M K chapter 7 verse 23 Sti ti nirudya manasya be still and know that I am God Nabavasyo papadyati be still and know that I am God Yascha nirudya manas tu be still and know that I am God Sabavo no papadyati be still and know that I am God. So that was quite a, a free translation of the verse. If a, a more literal one would be Staying still while staying upright is impossible for a thing now being suppressed. But what is not now being suppressed, again, cannot be a thing. Or, but what is beyond cessation, again, cannot be a thing. So once more, on the surface, it's an ontological discussion about the meaning of a moment of consciousness arising, having a very small duration, stasis and then dissolution, cessation. But below the surface, each of those words is a kind of a, an opportunity for exploration or meditation on the meaning of sitting upright and staying still. So, stitir, first word of this verse, stitihi, feminine, nominative feminine singular, or stiti. So stiti is the noun from star. Star means to stand, to stay, to stand firm. So stiti, the feminine noun means, according to the dictionary, standing upright or firmly, not falling. Standing, staying, remaining, abiding. So originally yesterday I translated this uh, stiti as staying still. But then I thought it's a shame that the first meaning given in the dictionary, standing upright, is lost by that translation. So then you've got a choice of either to have a more than one or two words in English where there's one in Sanskrit. So stick to brevity or, or try and cover all bases. And uh, the refuge of the rubbish translator is, is to use five where originally there was one. So there we have staying still while staying upright. That's stiti. Staying still while staying upright. Because I think it's important in this verse to bring out the up, keep the sense of up, because it's contrasted with nirudhyamanasya. So nirudhyamana means now being ceased. Again, by not tra translating it like that, we, we lose the sense of the, of the Third Noble Truth. Uh, because although the original chapter title is Banga, dissolution, Nagarjuna actually doesn't discuss Banga so much as he dis discusses Niroda, cessation. So Nirudhyamana means, this kind of describes what's happening now as the now being ceased. And what's being seized by what's happening now is prapancha because happening empty happening is like the antidote to non-empty spinning into existence of self-existing things which is prapancha reification in one word reifying turning what is originally what is really an empty happening we turn it into something like a stone. If what's really happening is, is, is like 
kisses. We can't conceive of that, so we, we imagine like stones bumping into each other, like uh, particle physicists do. So the, the contrast is between staying upright, standing upright, staying upright, sitting upright, and staying still in that, and instead of staying upright, being suppressed, being held down. So stitir no papadiate is not possible. Staying still while staying upright is impossible. Nirudya manasya bhavasya for a thing now being suppressed. So the first line is exactly the same as verse 21, except we've got stitir instead of utpatir. So it's the same point. Springing up is impossible for a thing now being suppressed. Equally, staying still while staying upright is impossible for a thing now being suppressed. And so as I was reflecting on this yesterday, I remembered a phrase which you often heard Christian people on the Alexander training course where I trained 20 years ago. Christian people would uh, sometimes like to go back to that saying in Psalms 46.10. I looked it up yesterday, that's why I know it's Psalms 46.10, which is in the King James Bible, which most people still refer to in Britain. Be still and know that I am God. And uh, that just seemed very appropriate to this, and particularly the next verse, 20, verse 24. And uh, caused me to reflect also, every be still and know that I am God is eight syllables. So it, it's nice if it's nicely into a Sanskrit pada. That's why I thought to do that kind of a, improvise that recitation following the meter of 723. Stiti nirudhya Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Because I think below the surface, the jista is exactly the same. Whatever ancient Jew had that intuition, it's the same intuition, in essence, as what Nagarjuna is expressing here. See, in Alexander's work, there's a, a phrase that Margaret Goldley, that, who was there, very close to F.M. Alexander, uh, she used to say, come to quiet. And uh, Ron Collier, my, one of my Alexander teachers, also likes that phrase, to come to quiet. And the thing you realise with the more you, you work in the Alexander work is that coming to quiet, it requires one to give up the idea of doing something on a deeper level than uh, a deeper level than what I thought it, it might meant. It's like Anya again, Anya, it's different. It's, it's, it's of a different order of stopping to what I thought. So one nice metaphor that I used to use when I was teaching was people practice saying no, like hitting the pause button on a tape recorder, an old style cassette recorder, you'd hit the pause button. And so the tape would no longer be going, but the, the machine would still be humming just ready for you to take your finger off the pause button and, and then it would go. And then I said, instead of thinking of hitting the pause button, think of unplugging the, ca the cassette player, so taking the batteries out. You know, so that it's, it's a it, one step deeper, you know, give up all idea of doing something. I noticed it, you know, like today I spent two hours in the, in the garden. I'll be going to England next week. This, Probably next Monday I should be on the ferry back to England. So I've been uprooting winter radishes and uh, covering the soil over with straw left over from the, the horse's pile. So a longer session in the garden than usual. So I have a sense that I'm a little bit behind schedule. And before I hit the, the record button, you know, I think come to quiet. But actually, I'm still... I'm still like a, 
a dog that's on the leash, you know. So again, it makes you think of Caesar Milan, you know, getting a, do a dog into a real calm, submissive state, so they're like practically falling asleep. Uh, it's not the same as if they're lying down, but still ready to go, you know. So uh, training oneself is a bit like being a dog whisperer with a with, with a, a misbehaved, badly trained dog. Uh, you've got to convince yourself to go into a real calm, submissive state. And uh, I think that might be the meaning of Islam as well. So that's there. Uh, that I think having checked yesterday what the the context was of be still and know that I am God. Quite interesting there uh, to go back to look at the Hebrew. So uh, according to Strong's Hebrew dictionary, be still is, uh, is it harpu in, in uh, Hebrew? I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's given as sink, relax, sink. So it has that that sense of uh, calming down, and indeed some translations reflect that. So uh, on the web page I arrived at, uh, some of the some of the translations. Thought sort of calm down somewhere. Be still, be still, be still, be still. Cease striving. The New American Standard Bible. Cease striving and know that I am God. That's that's very Alexandrian. Uh, Christian Standard Bible. Stop your fighting. And that reflects the context in which apparently uh, God was supposed to have sent that message when uh, there was a lot of strife going on. So, stop your fighting and know that I am God, exalted among the nations, exalted on the earth. So it's a bit like that joke again, how do you make God laugh, tell him your plans, you know, it's, it's kind of the same, God saying, you know, stop squabbling like children and know that there's, there's, a higher, there's something higher than, than the petty squabbles you're engaged in. Oh, here we are, contemporary English version. Our God says, calm down and learn that I am God. All nations on earth will honour me. The Good News translation, stop fighting, he says, and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme over the world. The Holman Christian Standard Bible, stop your fighting and know that I am God. International Standard Version, be in awe and know that I am God. So that, yeah, that sense of being in awe, it's, it's like the calm, submissive state that the dog whisperer, Susan Milan, encourages dogs to enjoy. Be in awe, you know, submit before your master. The Net Bible, he says, stop your striving and recognise that I am God. The Aramaic Bible in plain English, return and know that, capital letters, I am God. Return, well that's interesting, yeah, that's the sense of the backward step is there. God's word translation, let go, square brackets, of your concerns, then you will know that I am God. Well there's a translator after my own heart. Excuse of square brackets. Which you know, it's not, it's not, no one's going to win a Nobel Prize in literature for using square brackets, but there you go. He, he wants to clarify the meaning at the expense of uh, poetry. Let go of your concerns, then you will know that I am God. J.P.S. Tanak, 1917, presaging Paul McCartney. Let be and know that I am God. Speaking of which, Paul McCartney was a student, a pupil of Marjorie Barlow. I think Linda McCartney was originally, and, and then she sent Paul McCartney along. But uh, that was, interestingly, after he'd written Let It Be. But still, it's an interesting kind of connection. Let be and know that I am God. Because Let It Be was obviously very much Marjorie Barlow's teaching. 
let it be, is, is an instruction for non-doing. New American Standard, 1977, cease striving and know that I am God. Be still, be still, be still, be still, be still, be still, be still and know that I am God is by far and away the most popular. And let's face it, there is something quite excellent about such a profound teaching being eight one syllable words. Be still and know that I am God. And finally at the bottom of the list, Young's literal translation, deceased and know that I am God. And uh, yeah, so I, I, I like these kind of resources. This is the kind of resource that Ananda Jyoti Bhikkhu provides for the Pali suttas, and the kind of resource that I'd like to provide for studying Asvagosa and Nagarjuna. It's called Bible Hub. Bible Hub is the web page. So the lexicon section, say be still, sink, relax, and know. Strong's Hebrew dictionary says to know. So that one's not ambiguous. That, a relative conjunction, okay, not controversial. I, Anorki, am God, Elohim. Strong's Hebrew dictionary, God's the supreme God, magistrates, a superlative. I will be exalted, Arum, Strong's Hebrew, to be high actively, to rise, to raise. So interesting, isn't it? That even in that, in that phrase also, you've got the, the contrast between sink, relax, and rise, raise. If, 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 on the level of ontological discussion, see those two are logically, they're mutually contradictory, going up, and settling down on the using a top two inches, you know, like uh, Sideris and Katsura, for example. How do they translate this? Uh, it does not hold that an entity that is presently undergoing cessation is enduring. So that they've at that ontological level, you see, Nirudyamanasya means undergoing cessation, stopping, and stitir means enduring. So they, they totally missed the allusion to sitting meditation, in which you're sitting upright, but settling down. Uh, it's there in, in, in the Hebrew of that phrase, be still and know that I am God. Among the nations, a foreign nation, a gentile, a troop of animals, a flight of locusts. Over the earth, strong Hebrew earth, land. So the original Hebrew seems to mean something like a calm down and know that I am God. I go up among nations, I go up on earth. So this Psalms most probably was uh, intuited. These are, these are songs of praise, I think, Psalms. And I think they were intuited probably before the Buddha was born. So, uh, or possibly around the same sort of time. So that kind of wisdom was, was in the air. Uh, and uh, I think this is related with why when the Buddha started teaching the Dharma, he didn't think that he started the teaching up, but he, he, uh, he deferred to the seven ancient Buddhas. So it might have been one of the seven ancient Buddhas. One of the seven ancient Buddhas might possibly have been Jewish. And uh, opened his ear to hear the higher power saying, be still and know that I am God. Or, Calm down and know that I am God. I go up. And uh, yeah, that is also a, a, a fact, a matter of fact, that uh, Jews are hugely overrepresented in the Alexander world. A lot of the 
Nelly Benoit being one good example, but Patrick McDonald, who was one of Alexander's main protégés, the uh, a lot of Israelis found their way to uh, Patrick McDonald's door. Nelly Benoit being one of the first, and so you've got a thriving Alexander teaching uh, network or community in in Israel. So. From the English, staying still while staying upright, stitir, is impossible, no papadiate, for a thing now being suppressed. Nirudya manasya bavasya. Stitir nirudya manasya na bavasyo papadiate. Staying still while sitting upright is impossible for a thing now being suppressed. But, too, what is not now being suppressed, yas cha nirudyamanas tu, so I've translated the cha here, so mirroring the cha in 721 as again, so cha, cha, spread out over two verses, I think that means cannot be a thing, and again, cannot be a thing. So, cannot be a thing is sa, it, that, bavo no papagiate, is impossible to be a thing. Yascha nirud yamanas tu sa bavo no papagiate. But what is not now being suppressed, again, cannot be a thing. So, uh, more literally, we've got ya, yaha, and saha. So, whatever is not now being suppressed, or whatever is beyond cessation, if you want to translate nirudya mana, if you want to make the allusion to niroda satya, but whatever is beyond cessation, that, sa, bavaha, as a thing, no papadiate, is impossible. So, opting for brevity here, rather than saying whatever and that, I've just said what. But what is not now being suppressed, again, cannot be a thing. And the point is exactly the same as in 721. It's impossible for me as a thing to stay still while sitting upright. But as a non-thing, as an empty happening, it might be possible to stay still while staying upright, while being while being subject to the truth of cessation. So staying still and stitir and nirudyamana, staying still and the now being ceased. In other words. The now, the destruction, the, the destruction that's going on of non-empty concepts by an empty happening. So an empty happening is, in other words, the being destroyed of non-empty things. You can think of it like a kiss as an empty happening is the being destroyed of stones. Stiti nirudya manasya na bhavasyo papadhyate Be still and know that I am God Be still and know that I am God Yascha nirudya manas tu sa bhavo no papadhyate be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Stitir nirudya manasya na bhavasyo papadhyate. Staying still while staying upright is impossible for a thing now being suppressed. Yascha nirudya manas tu sabavo no papadhyate. 
but what is not now being suppressed, again, cannot be a thing. स्थितिर निरुद्ध्यमानस्य नभावस्योपपद्यते यस्चा निरुद्ध्यमानस्तु सभावो नोपपद्यते